Und neben mir steht Jeffrey Kietzer zusammen mit Joe Locke. Ich freue mich sehr, dass die beiden Zeit gefunden haben, mit uns zu reden. Joe, let me start with you. How did you guys actually meet and start playing together? We met um, 15 years ago. Um, we played uh, one night together with the Mingus Big Band. That was the first time we shared the stage together, I believe. It was delicious, too. He took the left side and put a little salt and pepper <laughs> on it, and I had the right and with mayonnaise and a little mustard. It was great. <laughs> one of the best stages I've ever eaten. And, I can um, see where this is going. And yeah, after okay. that, we did a week at the Village Vanguard with Marvin Smitty Smith's band. And uh, that was the first time we played a week together. And uh, after that, we parted company for, for quite a while. Um, and <laughs> it's really all Joe's fault. <laughs> and we met up a few years later in, um, in a group called Storms Nocturnes with Tim Garland, the UK saxophonist. And we um, started collaborating with Tim Garland. And then um, we, we just... And then after we got out of prison. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we just uh, started collaborating as a quartet a few years ago. We made some recordings for Japan. And, uh, and uh, recently we did a domestic um, actually US release on the Origin label called Live in Seattle. And we've been doing um, concerts abroad uh, in the States and in Europe um, and Japan um, with that band. It's been a lot of fun, really. I mean it. I mean it. It's been great. Now, I was going to ask you, and I'll ask it to you now because it's quite interesting to put it at this stage. You mentioned on stage that when you were still at school at Berkeley, right, you had the choice to play with either Miles Davis, Art Blake, and uh, judging from your sense of humor, I can imagine now why maybe you didn't go with Miles, but I don't know. Maybe you could tell me. Why did you not choose to go with Miles Davis? I, you know, I, it was sort of a dream of mine to play with Art Blake and the Jazz Messengers, and I had sort of made it a point to learn that whole repertoire. And I, even when I was in high school, I had a band that played all that material. So it was just sort of the direction I was going in, and, and you know, sort of, well, it's what I wanted to do. And I couldn't do both, obviously, at the same time. So, <laughs> so did you actually speak with Miles and explain to him why you decided to go with Art? Uh, we hung out a couple times, but I was already when I met Miles, I was already playing with Art Blakey, and it wasn't I wasn't about to just up and leave one gig and go join another, you know. But you were very precocious too, right? I mean, one of the early performances of yours with, with Desi, Dizzy Gillespie, which is what, when you were still pretty much a teenager, I think. How did that come about? I was playing with the Spider Martin Quintet. Spider Martin was a saxophonist and uh, playing with his band. And we did a couple of tours with Dizzy. So when I was uh, 17, um, I got to spend time with Dizzy, you know, him sitting at the piano showing me chord voicings and, and packing up after the gig and driving, you know, 200 miles to get to the